Hello, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve the 2x2 two two cube, 2x2x2, two by two by two. just using the layer by layer method, the, the beginner's method if you would prefer to say like that. So this cube's all scrambled up. Oops. Okay, so this cube is all scrambled up. So in the layer by layer method, or I'll, I'll call it the beginner's method. In the beginner's method, what you do is you make this is, by the way, this is sort of part beginner's part subject because it's not. Yeah. Okay, so in the layer by layer method. You get the, the whole face with this part lined up. And when I say that, I mean this is blue, this is red, this is green, and this is orange. Instead of just going to say like this, where they're not all fully lined up. See, the red one is, but then look when I turn this, the orange one's there. So it needs to be. When I say lined up, I mean it needs to be like, the pieces need to be together with their correct colour, right? Okay, so I'll scramble this and I'll show you how you get this up. So the first thing we do is we find any piece. I'll do the piece with the V on it, because it will be the easiest for you to see, most likely. Okay. So, there's a few different cases when you're getting these pieces up. The first case is, the first case I'm going to show you, is when there's three pieces there, all lined up, and, but there's one piece that still needs to go in, and it's on the bottom, the, the, the D, well, like this layer, not that, this layer. See, see, it's right there, and it needs to go up there. So, so you put it underneath where it needs to go, and you do this algorithm: R inverted, down inverted, R, and that will solve you the whole thing. Right. But if it's on the left, if it's like that. And you go, oh no, it's different. You can just turn it and then do R and red down there. So, so look, I'll, I'll solve this, right? So we find a piece. And, and what we do is, we gotta, we got to match them up like that, right? So like two and then one there. So now, this is probably one of the easiest cases. If, if there's already two lined up, that's very, very good. Because it's just like one less thing for you to do. Or two. So, so what you need to do is, this is probably the most simple case you'll get. It's, it's underneath where it needs to go. The, see, look, there's black, green, and red. And there's already a black, green, and orange there. And it's underneath, and there's no colour on the back here. So it won't ruin it if you twist it up like that. So you can just twist it up like that, and it will be in place. Um, now this case is sort of more tricky. You might not get it at first, but when if you watch this a few times, you probably will. It's on the bottom... And you need to get it up to the top. So once again, you put it underneath where it needs to go. And you do this algorithm. R inverted, D2, R. So now, you've still got the 3. And there's and that one's there. It's, it's, on, the, it's on this face now. Right? So... 
So, so now you can just put it underneath where it needs to go and do the algorithm that you learned a little while ago. R inverted, down inverted, R. But I've just remembered something. There's a difference. There, there is, there is a little different one. If, if the piece is there, if the black piece was there, you can just go like that. It wouldn't be up. And it would be up, but it's on that side. So if it's on that side and it's underneath, and you just say test it, doing the R inverted, down inverted R, and it doesn't go up, you're going to have to try this one. L, down, L inverted. Right? So those are pretty much, you could pretty much make the whole face just using those few algorithms. See, look, I'll show you. Okay, so we got one here. And, oh, there's one more that may help you a bit. If you've got two like this, and there's a red one there, or just a colour there, and there's the same colour there, all you do is you hold... You hold, okay, so, so on, in this case it's red, we got red, and we've got red here. So there's black, so there's a black and red one, and there's a black and red one. And all we do is we hold it, so the two reds, like this, are facing towards us, and then, no, sorry, you do it so one's facing you, one of these is facing you, and the other one is facing on the right. And then you do this. L, U, L inverted. And it will become from there up to there. Okay? But if it was there, you can still do it on the right, see? See how there's one? You can still do it. So that one's facing on the right and that one's there. See? Okay. And then, so, so I'll mix this up now and I'll show you a face. Okay. So, first of all, we see this. Black, blue, and red. Okay. So we've got to find the other red one, it's here, black, red, and we twist it so that where it needs to go, so that it's below where it needs to go, and then we do the R inverted, down inverted, R. So now we've got two pieces lined up, right? Now we line up the next one underneath where it needs to go, and we do the other one this time, L, down, L inverted. And now, for the last one for the face, it's on the bottom. So we do the R inverted D2 R, and then we can just rotate it so it's underneath where it needs to go, and do R inverted, down inverted R. So that's how you make a whole face. Watch part two to find out how to make the whole opposite face.